The sun is out. It's time to pack for school. Come on in. All right. I have a list. I'm going to school and I bring a lot of stuff. Things that I need to bring to school, not for myself, but stuff I have to bring. But let's start with a list. Okay, my trusty old tent, the only tent I have and I've been using it for five years or something. Still going strong, so we have the tent. The tent poles. We have sleeping mat. This is my summer sleeping bag, but it's going to be really warm, like 20 degrees, but at night it will be five to seven degrees, so I unpack it sometimes for it to fill with air and spread the fibers. So this is my super warm uh, sleeping bag, Corinthia Defense 4 or something like that, Austrian military, like that. It's big but I only have about 100 kilometers there, so yeah, it takes up a bag on the bike, but it's definitely worth it. I usually bring a tarp, but the forecast says it's not going to rain. Zero, 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 zero millimeters of rain. I usually have that over the tent. But I'll bring it if I need to, if it fits. So, for now, no. Let's bring stuff out here. Headlight, definitely, at night to go and take a leak. Need that. A little knife, why not? Access and source. Don't need it because uh, food is not a problem on, on uh, school. We have this super chef preparing awesome stuff, so I only need the tools to shove it in my mouth. A little uh, thermos is nice for the trip, so I can prepare some coffee and bring it on the bike. Yeah, eating cutlery. A nice plate to bring. Give me food, and it ends up on there. It's sort of organizing stuff for clothes. Pillow, inflatable, um, sort of microfiber towel. A few dry bags also because I, I have this uh, thick down jacket which is nice in the evening when it gets cold and then I put it in a dry bag and use it as a sleeping pillow or so. Actually better than the inflatable one. Oh, not needed yet. The mosquitoes come after May. Now it's May in June they start bugging you. Let's put it here. Sleeping quarters, towel, pillow, bags, first aid, first aid with, I need to check I have painkillers, yep, a few, that looks good. Water tight dry bag. Hygiene number one. Wet wipes, always wet wipes. Um, I use that if I had to go to the to a little uh, hole in the ground somewhere. Now they have sort of makeshift toilets there, but 
wet vibes are always good. And we're out there in the camp tenting for four days. And I think the river is super cold, so I get by with these. I can make a wet wipe shower every morning and that sort of keep me above base level at least. So, wet wipes, tire levers, tool, the multi-tool to get the tires off, and my little uh, endurista. Um, uh, yeah, I have all the bits and pieces here and duct tape and yeah, whatever, all the tools I need. Like so, one more. I will need the tank bag. I'm bringing so much camera stuff. Let's just get to the electronics part, I guess. And the electronics part is insane. So I'm bringing my other little, this is my bike toolbox. This is my camera toolbox, all the cables. I have drone props and bits and parts and, and I have uh, SD cards in this one, unused, and the red one goes uh, the used ones to store there. Chargers, I have remote uh, wireless microphones, I have the Insta360 camera and the mount for that we have the small tripod and I will bring a light also shine the light yeah there it is good for those uh, night shots with among people and go on and flash them um, we have the GoPro with the chin mount. Not sure I need to bring everything, but if I don't bring everything, I forget something. So, here's a mounting point for the camera. Wind. Uh, dead cat thing. GoPro batteries. USB char charging hub. 20,000 million pairs of power bank. Here I have the new drone, the Mini 3. Oh, it's so light. So I bring that too. Just look at all the electronics. Ring. But as mentioned, this is not light packing for a long uh, adventure. I bring all this stuff to the camp and then I strip the bike naked of everything. So I can leave all the bags and just go un unloaded on the trails. So I'm going donkey, donkey style there, but tiger in the trails. Since I'm going big, I'm using the monsoon bags. Something like that. And that's how fast it is to mount these babies because there's no rack or anything, just click, 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 and nothing prepared on the bike, just, just done. The bloody tank bag. But with it, I can have my big camera in here and use it without getting off the bike. The Corinthia is compressed. I have still room in this bag. Yeah, I put the tools in this little fender bag because then when I take all the bags off, I can still have the tools with me. And electronics with power bank goes in the backpack. I will need that one out filming. 
This is the Moscow Moto 30 liter duffel bag with the beaver tail and everything. Love it. But not for this trip actually. It's great when you only have one bag because then you can access from the side and you have documents and stuff here. But if I'm going just for camping like I'm going to do right now and I have a lot of other bags to keep stuff in. I actually like this top bag from Enduristan because I don't have to get in and out of it all the time. I And it's good when you're in the camp just to open up and you don't have to empty everything to find it. So this is ideal. So in goes the tent, like so, and the sleeping mattress, tent pose, pillow and towel, and mix boots. Alpine Stars Tech 7. There. My Moscow Moto Woodlands pants. In the boots because I like these are pants I can wear um, in the camp whenever. So I, these are riding pants but also in the camp pants. So in the boot pants they are narrow, narrower down there so I can wear normal shoes and stuff like that. The Knox armor jacket, as always, going strong four years now. Or is it five? Some MX shirts just to put, because it's going to be nice and hot. So, just some MX shirts. I always bring the single track jacket because it's so light and it packs small. So, if for some reason I need wind protection, rain protection, I use that. Adventure spec, also the hybrid. Baltic jacket because it's nice to in the evenings hanging with the ladies yeah just to be sort of a little bit warm so and the camp cap because helmet hair and the trusty helmet but Going off-road all day, I like to have these goggles instead. Just mount them like that and Velcro done. And if you stop to talk to someone, it's easy to just because with the normal straps and the GoPro in, in front, it's they will cover the camera or yeah, it's it's hard to take off. So th these are nice. Yeah, so this is just a quick video on the packing. So, and I still have things at home that I need like normal underwear and t-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, the extra shoes I need to bring, uh, the little whiskey bottle uh, and so on. But yeah, I'm ready to go in the morning and Expect a proper Skoog video, as usual, but on steroids, that's what I'm aiming for. So yeah, see you there. Ciao.